Okay, in the second of your two problems, you're given these two uh, numbers in the, the problem, 38 miles per gallon, and uh, the volume of gas that you've been able to use is 76.5 liters. Um, so really, all this problem is, um, it's two kind of, uh, little quirks to this problem. Of course, you got to know that uh, you need that conversion factor from miles or from liters to gallons, which I've given you there. One gallon is 3.785 liters. And then as you're going through the distance, what you're really just doing is converting that um, liters to miles. So, how do you do that? Um, you convert liters first to gallons. And realize that uh, the rating of the um, car is actually another conversion factor where you can convert miles to gallons. So you put the gallons on the bottom. It's just like how it's written there as it's given. Um, and the miles on top. And that allows you to cancel out your gallons, giving you miles for your um, answer. And then if you look at your calculator... Uh, the number it gives you is essentially 768 miles. Well, if I look at my two givens, one of them it only has two sig figs. So I have to put this into two significant figures. So you could do that in one of two ways. You could um, write the scientific notation like I've done first, 7.7 .7 times 10 squared miles. But um, people like... Uh, miles uh, in nice little round numbers, so 770 miles um, seems nicer to me, just because I'm more familiar with that. And that number, 770, only has two significant digits because there's no decimal point after that zero, so that zero is not significant. So uh, remember your units and your uh, sig figs, and you should be set for this one.